Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am working on this desk. One of my uh, friends found it on a garage sale and she thought of me, contacted me, and for 20 bucks now I have this beautiful desk to work on. So stay tuned as I transform it. So I am going to turn this desk into two side tables slash nightstands. So I'm going to remove all the drawers and remove the middle portion of it. Here's what the underneath looks like. So right now my goal is to remove that back board. I'm also removing the drawer slides because I need the side to be completely clear of everything. Okay, so now that everything is clear from underneath, my goal is to remove that top portion, but only in the middle. So I am measuring and making a line where I need to make cuts. So I'm not gonna lie, this part made me extremely nervous because I have never done this before. I asked for my husband's assistance here because I was a little too nervous to make this cut. So the top is removed and now I am just sanding a little bit of this loose paint. It has the finishes coming off. It's just that the finish overall was just very, very rough. I'm using my palm sander and a 120 grit sandpaper. So this desk came with a little friend and it looks like this little friend has a little, maybe like little babies, I don't know. But I did remove it and cleaned it off and uh, continued to prep the tables. I'm going to be adding some panels on each side on top and bottom to add support. Let me tell you about this panel. This is a sure ply and it's a pretty good plywood kind of paneling. And I find these at the scrap pieces of wood area at the hardware store and it was only 25 cents. I'm always looking for these because for 25 cents, it's a deal. I use the table saw and the miter saw to make cuts to have the panels in the sizes that I needed them. And then with some wood glue and some brad nails, I secure them to each side on the top and the bottom. I also decided to take the bottom drawers out and make it into like a cubby shelf. So I'm adding bottom and sides paneling. Really all I needed for this was some wood glue and some clamps and then just let it dry overnight. I filled in some of the holes and some of the imperfection with some wood filler. I sanded all the sides and everything down and I also sanded completely the top so that I have the bare wood because I will be staining the top and painting the sides. And I do want to apologize for all the movement and vibration here. I did not realize that the base of the tripod was touching the table and so the palm sander was making it shake. So sorry about that.
I used a 60 grit sandpaper to remove the finish on the top and then I moved up to a 120 grit and then a 220 grit to make it nice and smooth. And now I am just taping it off because I will be starting to paint the table with uh, chalk paint and I don't want the top to get any paint. This paint is by Bear and it's chalk paint and it's a beautiful blue tone that I just loved and so I got it at the hardware store and now I am just going to give everything two coats of this paint. All done with this chalk painting and now I'm going to be staining the top. I'm using a one of my favorite stains that I use pretty much in all my videos when I'm staining. It's a Briar Smoke Tone and so just giving it one coat and then I'm going to lightly sand it with a 220 grit sandpaper just to get some of that wood grain to show through and then dusting it. I'm going to give everything a light distress because that's my preferred style of furniture and so I'll be doing that on everything. So as I continue to distress, I am just focusing on mainly the edges and some of the surfaces, but really just the edges because I want it to be a light distress, not a heavy distress. And I do want to say that I did not distress the top. And here's where I'm doing just a very lightly sand. Um, I, I don't know, to me, it's just when I do this, it just makes that wood grain pop a little bit. And so that's what I'm doing. On to the polycrylic. So I'm sealing everything with a Minwax polycrylic and the satin finish. I'm going to end up doing four coats on the top where you see here, and I'm going to lightly sand in between coats, and then I'm doing two coats on everything else. After I finish uh, sealing everything in the multiple coats, I let everything dry 24 hours and then I added the hardware which I sprayed with a gold tone spray paint and then I was done. So tell me this was not a major transformation. These tables are beautiful. This blue tone is absolutely beautiful and the gold tone on the handles just pop. I love, love, love it. Alright guys, so this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do so and give me a thumbs up. And I hope to see you soon. Have a beautiful day.